Hello everybody. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Gemini. Hope everybody is well. Thanks so much for dropping in. I do really appreciate it. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Gemini. Overall energy surrounding Gemini. Overall energy surrounding Gemini. Their love life. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Overall energy. There we go. Coming apart. All right. Oh my goodness. Cleaning house. And intention. Oh, oh my, Gemini. So, ah, that's it's funny. Every time I see any kind of card that has two faces, <laughs> I always think of Gemini, looking at things from uh, both perspectives, right? Both your minds, as I say it. Very interesting. So, yeah, I feel there's a situation here where two people have come apart, and there is something to do here with cleaning house cleaning things up not sweeping things under the rug so i see this as somebody who's trying to sweep things under the rug trying to hide something then somebody doesn't want to own up to something here they don't want to tell somebody what their intentions are something this is probably you wanting to know what somebody's intentions are their intentions are probably to try and sweep this under the rug they don't want to take ownership see so, yeah, sweeping that <laughs> yes, my goodness, let's see what's happening. Gemini, Gemini. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Gemini viewers? Clear messages and guidance, please, for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Gemini. Clear messages and guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know about their love life? There we go. You have the Nine of Cups, and you have Two of Swords, and the Emperor. Ooh. Gemini. I'm just going to get all the cards out. Gemini. You have Page of Swords, and Four of Swords, Seven of Swords. The Fool, Two of Wands, and Three of Wands. Interesting. All right, what we have here is to be careful what you wish for. I feel like there was somebody wanted a wish granted, and I feel there was a possibility of it, but what's happened is somebody wasn't seeing something here. So there's some indecision. Somebody, there's something somebody doesn't want the other person to see, or there's something. It, I feel it's definitely the other person. I feel you've got somebody here with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their chart as well. I'm seeing that energy. I feel that somebody here is trying to be really sneaky. They're trying to clear clear something up, but they're not being clear. This is somebody who's not saying what their in true intentions are. Okay, and you can see here. See those light bulbs? Mm -hmm. Someone's got an idea here. This is somebody who, it's not what they do tell you, it's what they don't tell you. You have to worry about. This is about clearing things up, clearing the air, healing a situation. But somebody's holding back. Someone's holding back the truth because they don't want to face the facts. They don't want to face what they've done. Why two people have come apart. We have the Seven of Swords, somebody's being a little sneaky, right? Trying to figure out how to tell somebody their intentions without revealing everything. They want to sweep something under the rug, right? They're not really cleaning anything up. They're not really making things clear. Uh-huh, you see? So we have someone here who is not taking a risk. They're sitting here waiting, waiting to see what happens. And because of this... Lack of clarity, lack of truth. Someone's not taking a risk. This is the fool. One last look back, taking a leap of faith. But there is no leap of faith here because this person, I see possibly Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be an Aries for some of you. Could be a Scorpio. 
is sitting on the fence waiting to see what happens, trying to make a decision. So there is a waiting game here. Someone's holding on to this one wand, waiting for somebody to come in and tell them what their intentions are to speak the truth, how they plan to clear things up, clean things up, but this person doesn't want to face it. They don't want to face it. They're trying to figure out how to get things in their favor. This is somebody who wants everything their way, but there's some very strict boundaries. I feel we have an Aries energy here with some very strict boundaries. Doesn't have to be. It could be a Scorpio as well. Oh, that Mars energy. Yes. So there was a, a wish. Somebody was hoping to get a wish come true, but it's a be careful what you wish for because when some, this person comes in, they're not going to tell you everything. They're going to be holding back some of the truth, trying to sneak in. Okay, so we have the seven of cup, or nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Why is the nine of cups here? Ah, look at that confirmation. Yeah, there's no way forward. Somebody does knows that they can't get what they want here because there's some very strong boundaries. Somebody else is in control here, I feel. This Aries, this Scorpio, okay? And I feel there's just no way forward here without speaking the truth. Somebody has to say what their intentions are, what they intend to do about the mess they've made of things. Mm-hmm. It almost sounds like a little child who's gotten in trouble for making a mess in their room. And they're like, I didn't do it. <laughs> Honest, I didn't, but you know, right? <laughs> Yeah, so there is no way forward without the truth. Someone knows they're not going to get what they want unless they say what their intentions are. They don't want to say what their intentions are. They're trying to be sneaky. They're trying to figure out how to come back around without stating their true intentions. Yes, two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? You are, Gemini. Yeah, you got your sword up. You know it, right? Yeah, you want to know the truth and nothing but the truth. Or there is no way forward. You're not moving here. Yeah, you've asked somebody what their intentions are. Mm -hmm. And your intentions are to stand very... I feel like this is possibly you if you have Aries in your chart. You don't have to. This really could be anybody. It's definitely some fiery energy. I feel here, yeah, you've got some strong boundaries. Nobody's getting past that sword. You want the truth, nothing but the truth, or there's no way forward. There's no coming back, all right? Yeah, so we have this emperor energy. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here for Gemini? Why is this emperor here? Ah, yeah, so there we go. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Uh, could be a Scorpio. Somebody here... I feel like this person's got their back. They got this cup. They, they, this is somebody who is mature, apparently emotionally available, but there's some very strong boundaries. Yeah, I feel like you want to know if somebody, what their feelings are about you, what their intentions are, where they plan to go with something. Because something's happened here. Something's come apart. So somebody, I feel like somebody's freaked out about this, to be honest. They, they... I, I think that this person's trying to find a way to control this situation, possibly without sharing their feelings. This person doesn't want to share their feelings, but you've got boundaries here. You want to know, do you love me? Don't you love me? What are your feelings for me? What are your intentions? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, see, somebody's stuck in their head. Yes, somebody is stuck in their head. They're freaking out. Somebody doesn't want to tell somebody their feelings, their emotions. Their intentions are to try to, I feel, come back together here without, try to get somebody to take a leap of faith and have a new beginning without stating their feelings or their intentions. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Yeah, so somebody knows. We have a Pisces, so this could be a Pisces up here, somebody who wants everything their way, their way or the highway. But these boundaries, <laughs> someone's freaking out. They've got themselves trapped. Somebody has themselves trapped in their, their lies, possibly, their deception, okay? And they don't know how to get out of this. They don't know how to... They want you to... They expect you to take a leap of faith, but they don't want to take this risk. They don't want, or they don't want to, right? I, I feel they don't want to take this risk and come in and do that. 
Maybe they don't know what your intentions are, but I, I feel like it's you. So there's some secrets, mystery. See, someone's not telling the whole truth. Someone's hiding something. They're hiding it under the rug here, and they're trying to sweep it under the carpet. Because mm -hmm, they've gotten themselves trapped in some lies here. So yeah, there's a lot of possibilities what, what this secret could be, what it is they're hiding. Somebody may have um, other possibilities. They want to keep their options open. They're trying to be sneaky. They don't want to tell somebody, right? Yeah, they're trying to come in. They want to come towards you. They're trying to learn here and try to figure out, trying to gather some information and learn to come forward and make peace. They want to come towards you uh, to heal this situation, but they want to clear the air without actually clearing the air. So yeah, you're getting fishtails. Somebody's telling fishtails here, being very sneaky. Okay, they're going to tell you a story. So this person's got some information here. And uh, they've been kind of thinking about this, keeping this to themselves. They want to come in, they may, they may apologize, but remember, this is wishy-washy. This is somebody here who... I, I, I don't know if this person actually has love or not. They may have hinted at it or something. They've done something. They've gotten themselves trapped in their lies. I can see it. This person's trapped. So they don't know how to get out of this because there's very strong boundaries here. Like you're the one in control here, Gemini, big time. So they're going to tell you a story and they're going to tell you something here. But this person's all about their own emotions, their own feelings. This is, I, I feel we have a little narcissism, maybe a lot. I hate that word and I hate that everyone thinks everybody is a narcissist. Uh, true narcissists generally... Um, <laughs> This is somebody who definitely doesn't want to own up to something. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. They're going to tell a story. They, they painted some kind of a picture uh, to maybe give you the impression that they are in love with you. But well, I feel like this is somebody who's just very sneaky. They want to keep their options open. This person's a player. They're playing games. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? There we go. Yeah. See, somebody wants to rush in and out. See, this is somebody, yeah, see, there's some boundaries. You've got your boundaries up. Somebody wants to come rushing in and out. They want to go, be able to go back and forth, keep secrets that they've got other people. They don't want you to know. They certainly can't speak words of love. Um, I feel like somebody is, they tried to control the situation by using emotion. And I feel this person's wishy-washy. I don't know. I think they painted some kind of a picture here. They've got them trapped in some lies. Yeah, they know that there's no hope here. Okay. They know that there's not a lot of hope. Very strong boundaries. You're guarded. You don't believe this person anyway. You don't believe them. I, I know it. You don't. That's why you're asking them what their intentions are. You want the truth and nothing but the truth. You want to know how they feel, what their intentions are, where's this going, what's the future, right? Where's this going to go? You want to know. You're holding on to this, waiting for this person. Like, where's this going to lead, right? If I let you back in or I take this risk, this leap of faith to come towards you. This is somebody who's back and forth between several people. They're keeping secrets. They have other options. They don't want you to know. I feel they definitely are going to, they painted some picture here. This person's full of it. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Yeah, see, there's a painful ending here because somebody was being sneaky, deceptive, dishonest. Somebody's got... Uh, somebody's very arrogant. They feel somehow they can get away with this, but or or they did feel. But I feel you're <laughs> there's. They know there's. They're not going to get what they want, and you're indecisive about whether you'll ever hear from this person because I think you know, and maybe this is something you didn't see before. You were hoping to get what you wanted from this person, and now you're guarded. Like you are very guarded. Tell me about this fool. Why is the fool energy here? Why is this here? Why is this here for Gemini? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, there's that player. There we go. It's flowing. Yeah, this person's sneaky. They're trying to sneak back in. Right? They're trying to get... I think they're trying to figure out how to sneak back in to get you to take a leap of faith to start something with them. And they're very burdened here. Yeah, this person's got a lot of burdens. They don't want to, they're, they're sneaky. They don't want to take responsibility. 
I, I this person does not want to take responsibility, but you've got your boundaries. Um, you you have feelings for this person. This person's given you a tough time, but you now have very strong boundaries when it comes to your love life. Feel as though this person wants you to offer their cup. You know, they know that you have feelings, and I feel this person said or did something, communicated something sneaky, or maybe they, you know, they're trying to control this big time. This person's very domineering, very controlling. It's their way or the highway, but I feel like this has kind of turned around. It's kind of what's happened is, is this person's been very sneaky, they've been deceptive, and now things have turned back around on them, and they can't get out of it now. They've kind of blown it. So we have the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is this Two of Wands here? Yeah, see, somebody here, yeah. So this person, yeah, so you're probably sitting here, Gemini, waiting for this person to come and tell you, right? You're waiting. You want to know what the future holds, whether you should hold on to this or look elsewhere. Feel this person's coming in. Yeah, they're tempting you, testing you, dropping you a few breadcrumbs, dropping a few hints, but they're not being totally clear. They're not telling you everything. They're not sharing. This person doesn't share anything. They don't want to give you anything. So see, they don't really care. I think this person really doesn't care. This person's all about themselves. They're very focused on self, focused on their money. They don't want to share nothing. I think this person's all about their money too. They don't want to. I feel like they... I feel like this is a really nasty person. I have to say it. I This person's trying to sweep everything under the rug in a very sneaky way. They don't want to admit. Maybe they do have feelings and they don't want to admit it. Or they have done something. You want to know. You want to know the truth. Maybe you know you said something to this person that they're sneaking in and out between you and someone else. All right. This player. I feel, yeah, you stood up. You stood up for yourself to this person. Good for you, Gemini. Here they are. Knight of Wands wants to rush in here for a good time, not a long time. Just passing through, coming to have some fun at your expense. This person doesn't care. I feel like they actually really don't. I got to be honest. I feel like they may have. For some of you, they might have even told you they had feelings for you, but they did it in a sneaky way. They didn't really out and out tell you they loved you. So they're hinting at it, trying to get you to offer them some sympathy. So they're pulling the sympathy card here. Like they're painting some kind of picture. They're telling you something like, I feel like they spent a lot of time thinking about this, kind of learning something here, how what it is what they were going to say to you before they came forward to make peace. You may have gotten a small apology, but it wasn't really, I don't feel like it was very sincere. I think this person wants you to feel sympathy for them so they can think heal things, right? And clear the air just enough to come back in and sneak their way back in. No, there's no hope. I don't see it. I feel like you know, you know, Gemini, that this person's never going to take responsibility. They don't behave in a responsible manner. This person's going back and forth between people. They're sneaky, deceptive, dishonest. I feel they're very arrogant as well with the Emperor here twice. But I feel like some of you may have Aries in your chart. You're not taking this risk because this person's just dropping hints. They're trying to, you're really controlling yourself. You're not going to offer this person this cup, I can tell. You're not going to tell them that you love them. You're not going to, uh, you do feel compassion for people. I feel like you're very compassionate. You may have loved this person and had feelings for them. And they may actually have feelings for you. But this is somebody who, they don't want to admit it. They want to sweep it under the rug. They want to forget they ever said it. Because now they can't come sneaking back in so easy because you've asked them. I feel this person's not very nice. Yeah, see, there they are. They're very stuck. They don't know what to do. You're looking at all the details yourself here, and they are too. They're looking at this, and they're stuck. Uh, there just doesn't seem to be a way forward here. They don't want to tell you. what Because their intentions are to sneak back in, rush in and out, and do whatever it is they did all over again. And you stood up to them. You don't, And if they do come back in... I don't, even if they do tell you what their intentions are, unless they're, you know, like you're waiting for the absolute truth, clear communication, no half truths, no holding back, right? They're trying to figure out in their head, they're painting this picture in their head, kind of how this is going to go, what they're going to do, how they're going to play this. But I think this person's just lost to you, Gemini. 
Yeah, this person is, uh, they turn their back. They're not very emotional. They don't really care. They just don't want to give you anything. They don't want to give you. I feel like you're not talking right now. They're acting like they don't care. They do. I do feel like they have some feelings, but I'm not so sure this person. I think they they hinted at something here. They're trying to figure out here how to go about this, you know, which way to go, which how do I approach this to tell this person my in Gemini my intentions? How do I approach it? What are the details? They're feeling stuck. They're looking at everything. They know that they know that you're on your game here. So tell me what coming apart is all about. Wow, Gemini. This is heavy. I, I feel like, you know, you probably did the right thing because you put that sword up. And there's absolutely no way forward. I mean, there's barbed wire, <laughs> right? It's like, forget about it. So yeah, see this person? Yeah. This person's focused on passion, very much focused on themselves. I feel they're quite controlling. They want to try to figure out how to get control of this situation. I see an Aries energy here. Some of you could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may have some fire in your chart, but I feel like you're in control now. Since this come apart, you're the one who's now in control. You're very focused on this, very passionate about it. You're going to see this through. And you're waiting to see if this person comes in and tells you what they intend to do. Because I feel they've come towards you at some point here. You thought you were going to get your wish come true, but there's something here that you didn't notice right away. So there was some kind of a discussion. You didn't see something right away. You kind of had the blinders on a bit. You were a bit indecisive, you know. But I feel as what's happened is you looked at all the details. You looked at absolutely everything that happened and you just kind of went, whoa, wait a minute. There's no way forward here. You had to ask this person what their intentions were. And yeah, so I feel like, yeah, see, this is somebody who turns their back on their feelings. This is somebody very emotionally detached. This person's very emotionally. They don't want to be, they don't want to share their feelings. They don't want to, they're trying to figure out how to not end this. But because they played, they were sneaky and deceptive. It, there's been a painful ending and you've walked away. Um, you asked them their intentions, everything, and you walked away because they wouldn't tell you. In fact, they may have walked away because they don't want, didn't want to tell you. So it's a very painful ending. And I, you know, it could go either way. The results are the same. And, you know, this person really does turn their back on their feelings. They do not want to be emotionally attached. And that's what they're trying to sweep under the rug. They do not want to because they want to rush in and out. They want to keep their options open. They want to keep their secrets. They don't want to tell you what their secrets are. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like you've walked away. This person's fighting all the control they have. They're using all the power they have to control the, their emotions here. But I feel like with coming apart, their emotions are all over. They're, I think they're kind of freaked out, to be honest. And, um, yeah, they're trying really hard to control their feelings because the only way to control this situation is, is and to have success, to have things the way they want, right, which is complete control, very domineering, my way or the highway, is the only way to get you to take that leap of faith is to tell you the truth and they don't want to because then they have to then ne next comes commitment and right and they don't want to they want to they want to keep their options open they want to keep their secrets and you don't know what their secrets are so there's a lot of confusion here about the secrets right this person purposely confused you i feel they did this on purpose I, they didn't tell you everything they told you just enough they thought they were going to play you, but I, it didn't work this time. This is somebody who's likely played you before, and you never really got what you wanted, so now you're guarded. So what, are, what is this person's intentions? What are their intentions? Will they speak their intentions to Gemini? Their intentions are to be to manipulate this situation. To play mind games. This person plays mind games. They're manipulative, deceptive, dishonest. That's what their intentions are, is to try to manipulate this somehow, to sneak back in. They don't want to let go of you, but they don't want you to go out and see anybody else. 
This is a very selfish person. Very, very selfish person. They don't want you to go and meet other people, you know, because if you don't see a future with them, you're not going to stick around. You're going to look elsewhere, and they're trying to hold on to you, but they're trying to hold on to you without committing, without telling you that you know, any of their feelings, because they want, they have other options. They want to keep moving back and forth. And this person is trying to learn something here so they can paint this picture and tell you this BS story. Okay, fishtails. Something is fishy here with the page of wands and the page of cups. Oh, yes. So, yeah, I don't know, Gemini. Here you go. If this is your story, you guys will have to let me know. So, yeah, tell me about this deception and dishonesty with the five. This person's very mentally clicked conflicted they're coming apart at the seams here right uh, they're trying so hard to control this and uh yeah see there they are they know they're trying they're strategizing here how to manipulate this uh, they're going to try to execute this by manipulating this somehow so be be ready be prepared okay um yeah because it's going to come in very suddenly this person's going to come in they're going to tell you what their intentions are, but I don't, this person's going to lie to you. They're not going to tell you the truth. You aren't going to believe them, I hope. I see you being very guarded and defensive. You have boundaries. You do not want somebody rushing back and forth. You, this person doesn't behave in a responsible manner, and they don't want to take responsibility. And you are putting your foot down with the emperor here. This is war. Literally, I see war here. And... <laughs> It just reminds me of a particular movie, right? Only this is going to get nasty because this person's going to come in very quick. They're in for a very big surprise. If you any of you have Aries in your chart, oh my gosh, this person best be careful. Or Scorpio, because this is not going to go well. Yeah, this person's. You, they have a lot of fear. They know that if they don't do this right and they don't manipulate this and they can't handle this right, it's over. They're going to be hurting themselves. But you want to be careful. This person's going to, they may be trying, they, they may have a vendetta because you put your foot down so firmly. They may actually try to hurt you. So be very, very careful. I don't mean physically, but emotionally and mentally. I, I, my opinion, I don't know. I mean, you guys can do whatever you want, but just be on guard. I would not let this person back in any way, shape, or form. Uh, they may actually be trying to hurt you and break your heart. They're upset. They're mad at you. This person's angry. They don't want to tell you how they feel. They don't want to tell you what their intentions are. You, you figured this person out. You figured them out. You know it. They know you figured them out, too. Yeah, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person's planning something. Yes, they are. They're working through the details. They're planning something. What is it this person is planning? What are they planning? What are they planning? To juggle back and forth. They're weighing the pros and the cons here, making a decision. But this person plans on juggling. They still plan on being deceptive and dishonest. They still feel like juggling they're going to try to manipulate it so they somehow some way so they can the, whatever story they tell you about um this whole situation whatever your story is everyone's is going to be a little different their main plan is to keep on juggling all right back and forth this person's got a plan they're making some decisions weighing the pros and the cons this person's unbalanced okay i feel it they're coming apart this person's got some serious issues and they, yeah, this person has their own belief, traditions, and behaviors. They don't follow the status quo. When they come back in, they're going to do exactly to you what they always do, what their habit is, what their tradition is. I think you should be very careful about this person, okay? Because they may tell you that they're going to commit to you, and they are not going to commit to you. And you know this. I see it. You're going to stand up. You do not, you're not going to believe it. Because you just, it's like you probably know, okay? So use your wisdom. Trust your intuition here. You know what the, you know. Your intuition is going to be very peaked here. Don't fall for it, okay? You can pull back and wait to see what happens. Do not give this person any passion because they are going back and forth between people. This person is very sneaky, You've ended it and walked away already, and they can't stand it. They lost control. They're completely out of control, 
Okay, they lost control of the situation because you turned this around. You figured this player out. I see it. You guys are wise. I feel like high-fiving you. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know, it's always nice to know, right? You can figure somebody out. The sooner the better. Tell me about the Hierophant. Uh, see this person here? Yeah, they're sneaky. They're trying to figure out how to come back towards you, how to move forward. But you may just decide to, you may figure out yourself that this person's just too much of a player and you may turn your, you may just decide to move away to avoid another disaster. They might, they might actually do that at the last minute, but be careful because they're trying to figure out how to come towards you and make peace without actually owning up to what they've done. Because you've caught this person somehow, you've figured out something that they were up to. And I feel they've been, they were tossing you breadcrumbs, leaving you waiting all the time because they were going back and forth. So, right. So they would toss you a few hints, probably just say one line or one word here and there. And I feel like you looked at the details and you knew something wasn't right. So you called them out. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. What are you going to do, Gemini? What are you going to do? <laughs> What's the Queen of Swords going to do to this person? They could be a Taurus. I feel like you want something traditional, like you want something traditional. And I honestly feel as though you have somebody here who... You definitely have somebody. Or you may have a choice yourself between several people. If you have Taurus in your chart, some of you may have a choice between a couple people. You may leave this person behind and move forward. It's quite possible towards somebody else. So you got some things to figure out, Gemini. But I feel this person, they definitely have some uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. And I feel as though they are trying to figure out how to come towards you. It's kind of want to, they want to come in with this information and make peace. But I would not trust this person because they're going to do exactly what they did before. This is somebody who comes back around and they, they don't follow the status quo. Okay, they kind of do as they please. So... Let's grab some outcome cards here. What is the outcome of this situation for Gemini? What is the outcome of this situation? What does Gemini need to know? What is the outcome of this situation? That's the best thing to do is just ask them, what are your intentions? Where's this going? What's going to happen? Right? This is what you want to do when you have somebody who comes back and you feel like they've played you, but you're not sure. Like you can't really, you really don't know. You don't have any real proof, but you know what your gut's telling you because they're always leaving you waiting. They're always dropping hints. They dangle that carrot. They act like they don't care. They're very aloof. And I feel like this is, it's, it's a do or die. You have to take that sword, right? So I feel like this person's getting trapped in something trapped in their head they can't stop thinking about this too it's like they feel like they're coming apart because uh yeah well they will be oh yeah all right there we go yeah so this person's going to come back around again so i feel like you're by the time this person comes back around you're going to change how how you feel okay i do i feel like you're going to just change how you feel i don't think i think you're going to move away like you figured this out there's no point here so yeah, they are going to come back around and they're going to express themselves. They want to have this new beginning, but I feel like you're ready for change. You're ready for something completely new. So you're letting this person go, I feel. Yeah, you're going to walk away. You're going to go for something completely new. I don't think you're going to trust this person. Yeah, you're on a journey. You possibly have a choice between two people. And you may go out and meet somebody new. Yeah, you may. Or you may have met somebody already. There may be some kind of reunion or gathering or something event coming up. More than likely with everything going on, it's something very small with just a few people. But uh, there is somebody who may be coming to see you. So I feel like you may have somebody or you may be traveling to go see someone else. But there's cornucopia. You are going to have some bliss and some happiness at the end of this. Okay, yeah. So something is going to be blossoming between you and somebody else. So there's some hope. Because I do feel like you, you're coming apart with someone else. But I almost kind of feel like this is another person. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel as though this person, they may be coming apart from somebody else, breaking up with someone else while you're breaking up with someone, and they may come towards you. So you could have this person here. This could actually be them. 
coming in to take a leap of faith towards you. It's completely separate energy. I fe don't feel like, yeah, you're going to be waiting for this person and sort of waiting to see what happens. But you've got this negative person, this not very nice person at all, who's going to kind of either still be in your energy in your head or they're going to come around and try to um, come back around towards you. But be very careful because I, I really feel like this person's not going to be... Um, honest and like i said if you have taurus in your chart you're very traditional you want commitment you want family you want something solid someone you can rely on and this person's a juggler so they could have taurus virgo or capricorn in their chart but they don't have to so yeah i think you got something new starting you have something new yeah you're going to be wearing your heart on your sleeve you got someone else let me see who this is it's going to make this reading long but tell me more i should have clarified this king of rods but i was reading at this as this person and i honestly i did kind of feel like it could be someone but <laughs> i guess i should have i kind of lost focus on that so sorry everybody let's just see who this king of rods is i think you got someone who's focused on you who's coming apart from somebody else king of rods who's this king of rods yeah no it's the same person this person's breadcrumbing you they're trying to control the situation they're going to toss you some breadcrumbs or you're not maybe you're not talking to this person but yeah no it's the same person or it could be a scorpio yeah there may be somebody else in the picture who's trying to control this now this could be your person being controlled by somebody else okay they may be trying to break free from somebody and uh but i feel like you're in the mix here so i'm going to leave it at that scenario because I feel there's something coming to an end here because somebody's not being honest. There's a lack of reciprocity. So there's something that's going to... I feel like you're ending it with this person. Uh, they probably are an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. and But this emotional offer here is definitely what's gotten them into trouble. I feel they hinted that they had feelings for you to, as, so they could control this so that you would let them back in. But I don't know if this person actually does. And if they do, they don't want to tell you what they are. They absolutely do not want to tell you how they feel because then you're in complete control. This person's a train wreck. They're all over the place. You're ending it. You're going to go off towards someone else. You have somebody else. Yeah, see? You're going to get something you wanted. You're ending it with this person and you're going towards someone else. They could be a Leo, you do, but I see it here. You're going to have a new beginning. You're, I feel like you don't feel the same about this person when they come. It's like you're kind of over it So, because they aren't going to tell you what they're... They're going to lie to you, and their intentions is to be dishonest and deceptive and get what they want, and they may even try to hurt you, um, like really hurt your feelings. It's like they're vi feeling vic vindictive, uh, possibly, you know, feeling a little angry and or really fr just frustrated you know this mentally i think this person's not right in the head i gotta tell you all right so take care of yourself you guys all right go out there and find that love with this new person uh, i don't know if you got to go find them i think they're coming towards you all right for a new beginning this person will tell you how they feel and uh so yeah so i feel like both of these people here i gotta be honest i feel like Somebody may have Aries in their chart. Somebody may have Leo in their chart. I also see Scorpio. So this person could be have some Scorpio in their chart or vice versa. So yeah, this is somebody who doesn't care. Yeah, this is somebody who won't. You've got one person that will not express themselves. You see that? They're aloof. They don't care. They're all focused on themselves. Yeah, see, they're putting the focus onto themselves. So they're trying to put the focus onto themselves to get you to feel compassion and so they can sneak back in. But it's so watch that when somebody comes in and they tell you a story like, oh, I'm sorry, this happened, that happened. And, you know, I got this issue and that issue. And I'm sorry that I did this or that. Don't don't believe that BS because they're trying to turn it around so that you feel compassion. And they can sneak back in without taking responsibility for what they did which is obviously something that made you very guarded. So, all right, look out for yourselves. Bye for now, everyone.